Hello there guys, welcome back to Eunice Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video, I hope all of you are doing well today. Now, I've got a very interesting topic that I want to discuss today, Some someone that I didn't think I'd be talking about at all, but all of a sudden, this opportunity has presented itself, and um, yeah, maybe it's a thing of the universe, maybe things are aligning, you know, and uh, maybe this opportunity is a big possibility for this one player that we might, might actually need. It's gonna get interesting and I will talk about it a little later in this video but before I do and before I get into today's nitty gritty I want to talk about one little thing and then a section of the video that I'm gonna focus on regarding today's results where Chelsea stand in the table what Monday's game means for us I mean all of that I will get into that very shortly but before I do if you are new hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded and smash like button for me as it helps me out a lot now I did say I was gonna talk about one thing very very quickly if you are living in London and the southeast of England and portions of the east of England you would have just heard what Boris Johnson has come on TV and said we are entering a tier four you know it's not just tier one two and three now nah, now we've got a tier four it sounds like we're trying to build a wedding cake you know this is how deep it's going and this is how ridiculous things are starting to get now if you truly think right I just have to say this because I feel like we have a little bit of an audience I just need to get this out there and hopefully you can go and look into this data for yourself but if you truly believe that any restriction that is coming in now is going to stop all of this madness within two three weeks I'm sorry but you really need to go and look at the facts for itself and you really need to I don't want to say just wake up and smell the coffee but something along those lines because it's not going to happen what they are doing to people is hurting loads and loads and loads of people psychologically and it's not going to end so I just want to tell you guys brace yourselves look after each other support each other if you are struggling speak 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 trust me if there's one advice that I can give you right which I know is crucial is if there's something on your mind speak dialogue with your family with your friends whoever's near you and put yourself out there put yourself out there so anyone that is struggling can come and talk to you and be a source of compassion and be a source of support and and togetherness you know because right now there are many many people losing their livelihoods losing their businesses losing their jobs losing uh, not being able to see family members not being able to see loved ones but you know all of a sudden they're able to go to work and see someone that doesn't even live close by but they can't go down the road to see their family member who might be on the brink of life I mean the whole thing stinks the whole thing stinks so please I just want to tell you guys try and be strong mentally look after yourselves exercise eat well drink well look after yourself provide the support to your family to your friends just be there for each other because this is not going to end tomorrow believe me and it doesn't take a genius to go and work that out so that's all I'm going to say this tier 4 thing that's coming now is not going to go away anytime soon it, it's just not going to at this point it was meant to be three weeks to flatten the curve you remember we are entering a year of this madness a year anyway that's my tip and that's my advice to you guys just please be there for each other and look after each other and uh yeah now in terms of Premier League results that have happened today we have had Liverpool show up against Crystal Palace and not just decimate them I mean what's a stronger word for decimation um I mean annihilated uh, just 7-0 I mean it's given all of us a reality check that is for sure it's given everybody a full-on reality check right now Chelsea we look at our team we look at what we're doing we look at how we've been playing then we just look at what Liverpool done to Crystal Palace today and it's like oh my god you know maybe maybe we aren't that close to Liverpool yet <laughs> honestly um Monday's game is so important it's so important. Liverpool have now extended. Man City are currently beating Southampton. So Man City have now gone above us. We are now sitting in 8th place in the Premier League. As it currently stands. We are in 8th place. Everton and Arsenal are about to play in about 1 hour. So it depends what Everton do there. If they do beat Arsenal, Everton will extend their gap above us. If Arsenal somehow get a result, well, it doesn't actually really matter that much. Because Arsenal will still be in 15th. So yeah, anyway. We'll see what happens. Happens, but we are the last game this weekend everyone is going to play and it doesn't look like anyone's going to be dropping points you know as drastically as
as it happened last weekend. It's a very rare occurrence for two weekends in a row for many top teams to just drop points. It's very, very rare. Um, so this game against West Ham is going to be so important. And I said eighth, right? I said eighth. Now remember that because we play against West Ham who are, guess where? Ninth. So it's, it's, not, it's not great. If West Ham beat us at Stamford Bridge and we lose three games in a row, they go above us. So we go down to ninth. It's just... <laughs> Oh man, this is crazy. I, I didn't think I'd be talking like this. Just a week ago, I was like, yeah, well, title charge. Yeah, title. We're going to go for the title. And here we are. We're going to end up ninth. I mean, look, Monday's game is so crucially important. It's not just a, oh, let's just go and get three points. It's a, we don't have a choice but to get three points. And if we don't get three points, uh, well, you know, this whole tier four madness is going to look like a child's play compared to what we, we are, we're going to go through with Chelsea Football Club. So honestly, um, yeah, really results at the moment not going our way the preview for the West Ham game will be live tomorrow and as I said it will be with a special guest so uh keep your eyes peeled for that one a certain player that I wanted to discuss that came to my attention a couple of days ago we've been lacking wingers yeah Hudson and Doisyesh have been out Pulisic's only just returned we've been lacking in terms of seeing who's going to come in and fill in Werner not so good Havertz not so good um you know who are we going to play on the wings and right now it's just not been working very well we have a winger at Chelsea Football Club who unfortunately has gone through a lot in terms of injury in terms of trying to make a comeback in terms of loans that haven't actually worked out for him but the timing of this couldn't have been better I'm talking about Charlie Musonda. This is from Charlie Musonda's Instagram page. I'm going to show you this just so you have an idea of where he is and what he's been through. Let's read this out. It's been four years since I've played back-to-back -back professional games. Three years since I last played for my club. Two of those last four years, I've been injured with the post-cruciate ligament of my knee. Nothing but heartbreak and heartache. Doctors told me going through surgery after being out for so long would be the end. An impossible mountain to climb were the exact words. I miss football so much, to say the least, and I'm doing everything I can to play once again to all the kids out there who have a dream and are injured or are going through monumental setbacks. Never give up. I'll keep climbing the insurmountable mountain every day to run with the football once again because there's no better feeling than taking someone on and feeling alive. Until that day comes, I'll keep training and believing in the impossible comeback because the greatest comebacks always seem like there is no way back. And that's when we've got to dig deep and live to tell the story and not die in it. This is my story and how I keep training and staying ready despite the odds that one day I'll be back. That was on October the 7th. Now, since then, check this out. We have this, stay on the move and keep pushing relentlessly. This is my story and how I keep training and believing despite the odds that one day I will be back. And he's just fully focused. This is from nine weeks ago. The rare see the beauty of the trenches and call it home. Still training like a madman. This is from November 2nd. The sweat keeps on pouring. It's the only way. The odds are just the odds. This is my story and how I keep training and believing despite the odds that one day I will be back. And the strain on his face there. Look at this. You know, fully, fully trying to overcome and push his body to a limit that he probably hasn't reached before. And it's just tremendous, tremendous willpower and courage to try and get himself back to 100%. He's doing everything he can in terms of resistance, in terms of strength, power, everything that you could ask for in a training session. He's currently putting himself through. And the knee injury is the worst for a footballer because, you know, you damage your knee to a very bad extent. As he said, the chances are very, very slim of you making a full comeback. But he's doing everything possible to make that happen. This is from one day ago. Check this out. Feels good to be back at Cobham and back in training. The comeback continues. And there he is, back at Cobham. He's back in full training. Could it happen? Could Charlie Mosonda be the answer that we've been looking for in terms of maybe a backup winger? Because we got him those years ago 
And, you know, he came through our academy ranks. He came through our under-18s, under-23s, you know, got promoted to the first team. And very rarely made the odd appearance. Very rarely sent him out on loan, came back, back on loan again. We saw him go out on loan to Celtic. You know, Vitesse hasn't worked out as he's been battling through this whole injury crisis and this whole getting past surgery. But as a winger and him working this hard and the fact he's now back in full training, could he be... The answer, in terms of a backup winger, we find ourselves in a situation like this where there's no Ziyech, there's no Hudson Adoy, maybe there's no Pulisic. Well, we have Charlie Mosonda. Could it be? I want to leave that thought with you. What can Mosonda do? I know the Nigerians in the chat are definitely going to be like, yeah, yeah, absolutely, he is the guy, he is the one, we must play Mosonda. <laughs> Funnily enough, he's actually not that far from me from where he's from. He's from New Malden, and New Malden isn't actually that far. Um, so he's a, he's a South Londoner, which is nice. Yeah, Charlie Musonda, he had the ability, he had the potential. His body has limited him. But now, it does seem like, even though the doctors gave him a 20% chance of him making a full recovery and playing football again at the highest level, it might seem like he might actually pull it off. So... Again, is Masonda the one that we call upon when he does get back to 100% and he does recover from his cruciate ligament injury? Because if you ask me, I think we might have something here. I really do. I think, and I love, I love to see a player, despite all the odds that many, 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 many others who have been in that situation have given up and retired. They've given up. They've retired. They've, they've listened to the doctor and they've gone, that's it. It's over. They're telling me it's over. It's over. He didn't. He's kept going. Look at him now. Chelsea had faith in him. They haven't released him. He's still at the club. Now he's back at Cobham. He's back in full training. This is just a story that could be turned into a movie if he pulls it off. I really, really love to see a player like this with that much hunger and desire and overcoming not just the odds, but coming back from something like this is, is remarkable. So... I, I want him to succeed and I think he can. I really think he can. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit that notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. Smash like button for me. As I said, it helps me out a lot. So thank you all so much. And tomorrow, Chelsea versus West Ham preview. Again, as I've said, with a special guest. And then on Monday, it will be the watch along with the background. Don't worry, that hasn't disappeared. It's only just for the watch alongs for now. But it will be back. Um, and then after that, your match review. After it's all said and done, and hopefully we get three points. Because we don't have a choice. Three points or three points. That's all we can get. I will see all of you tomorrow. Thank you all so much. Look after yourselves. Have a good one. Take care and peace.